Hey what's going on people, Bearfox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to get less input delay on your computer as whole and play almost any games without any input lag. Once again this video is on reduction of input lag so make sure to watch it till the end. Also do leave your specs of keyboard and mouse in the comments below for maximum optimization. I'll be replying to each one of you and with all this said let's roll the intro. To fix all of our input lags, we first have to perform a few checks. And for that, press your Windows key and then search for CMD and then run it as administrator. Now once you are in this command prompt, you have to type in a single line of command. I'll be leaving this command in the comments below. Simply type it in here and it will be giving you the image servicing and management tool description. That means if you have any component issues or hardware issues, if there are any miscompatibilities, then it will automatically show it to you guys. This test will simply show you if you have any corrupted hardware on your device and if it's not present, then it will say no component store corruption detected but if you get any sort of error simply paste the second line of code in here and that will fix those errors once again i'll be leaving both of these commands in the description below so make sure to go check it out now once you're done with this step second step is troubleshooting our keyboard and for that simply search for troubleshoot settings and in here go to additional troubleshooters now in here you'll have your keyboard under find and fix other problems simply click on it and run the troubleshooter if you have a controller you can do it for that as well if the troubleshooting has completed without an error that means your device is completely fine without any issues simply close the troubleshooter or if you find any error proceed with fixing those errors once you're done with that next most important thing is search for mouse settings and once you are in mouse settings, go to additional mouse options. In the additional mouse options, go to pointer options. And in here, make sure that the pointer speed, select a pointer speed is at the sixth tick. That's the default speed of your mouse. So count one, two, three, four, five, and make sure that it's on the sixth line. Next one is enhanced pointer precision. I highly recommend you guys to disable it as it will cause rucus while aiming. So I highly recommend you guys to disable enhanced pointer precision. So your mouse will start moving the distance you move your mouse. It's not automatic. It will not drag your mouse. Once you're done with that, click on apply. Next is press windows and R all together and then run will open up here. Simply search for control keyboard. Now you'll be in keyboard properties. Once you're here, make sure that repeat rate is on the fastest and then click on OK. Now, once you're done with all of those steps, simply get this registries. This is the input delay fixed registries. And once again, they do really simple tasks. Once you have downloaded it from the link in the description below, you can simply find it five files in here. The first one is low end keyboard buffer. Second one is medium end keyboard buffer. Third one is for high end keyboard buffer. And last one is for ultra high end keyboard buffer. And if anything goes wrong, we also have a default keyboard buffer that will help you guys to restore if anything goes wrong so if you have a low-end computer so you can use low-end keyboard buffer if you have a medium-end computer with a graphics card at least 1050 ti or equivalent you can use a medium-end keyboard buffer if you have a high-end computer with at least an rtx 20 series graphics card then you can go with a high-end keyboard buffer uh, and if you have an ultra high-end PC with RTX 3080 Super and you want the lowest input lag, then use the ultra high-end keyboard buffer. But everything over here is completely safe. It will not kill your keyboard. It will reduce your input lag bit by bit. And just don't put ultra high-end keyboard for your safety because if you have a low-end computer and you put on an ultra high-end keyboard, there are many chances that your keyboard is gonna stuck up it will give you errors, it will not run properly because your PC cannot handle high bits of data in the keyboard. That's why I highly recommend you guys to use it wisely. Now, once you're done with that, the final and the last step is disabling these sticky keys. So for that, search for sticky keys and then in the keyboard section, make sure that your sticky keys are turned off. Now, I'm not sure about if this helps or not. 
This gives you a little competitive advantages while turned on because while playing you press your shift a lot of times and that will just minimize your game and open up sticky keys option. So I highly recommend you guys to turn this thing off and then you'll get the best gaming experience. So once you're done with all of these things, just restart your computer once, go into game and check if that works for you or not. Just find the best setting for all of you guys and that's all for this video. I hope this video could have helped you out reduce your input lag and if it did make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button since it really helps me out a lot. We are once again very close to 60,000 subscribers and I believe in you guys. Consider subscribing to the channel. We'll see you guys in the next video. Until then stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.